Welcome back. It is the Flow Friday Sports Show here on Flow FM, and it's time to take a look at Western Air Netball in South Australia. And joining us is our expert and correspondent, Rihanna Freeman. Rihanna, great to be with you again. How are you? Very good. I don't think I've ever been called an expert before. Thanks. I'll take that one. Yeah, I never usually get called one either, <laughs> but uh, in this case, it very much does apply, Rihanna. Uh, <laughs> Stretching back a long time in, uh, you know, the Fly FM Flow Friday Sports Show history of you covering this competition. Uh, so let's get right into it. Round two over the weekend. Now we'll start with the Western United Tigers v Hawks game. A extraordinarily exciting one. This one, by all accounts, Rihanna. You were there witnessing it firsthand. Tell us how it went. Yeah, so this was um, actually a really good game. So it was Hawks who uh, I coached taking on Westies. Um, didn't really know what to expect. Both um, very different lineups compared to last year. Westies had two out. Nakia Skinner, um, she was away for uni, and Java Shepard was out with an ankle. Um, so they had Alex and Rhea Sleep step up. I thought both played quite well. Um, Hawks had a late out with Nissa Bell um, pulling up six. So that was a big out for us. That sort of took away our um, senior brain in the team for the midcourt. Um, and that was definitely a bit of a soft spot for us on the weekend uh, to start the game off. Hawks were up by three at the end of the first quarter. Um, at half time, we were down by one. At three quarter time, we were up by two. And uh, with, I think we had about 45 seconds to go. Um, we were up by one. So when I say we, I mean Hawks. Uh, we missed a goal. Westy's got a turnaround and uh, shot a goal. And then they had the next centre pass and shot the next goal. So it ended up being a draw. So um, it was an absolute cracking game, I think. Uh, this just shows that this year is going to be a really good year across the board. We had, of course, it was our Anzac round. Um, Chloe Etridge, who plays goal defence for Westies. Um, I've spoken about her many a times. Over the last three years, um, huge fan of hers, great player, um, and she was the recipient of the Anzac Day medal. Um, huge congratulations to her. Not only is she a great player, um, she's very clean, fair, um, and, yeah, can't rate her high enough. Um, and for Hawks, our best was Alana Beard, who was also playing at goal defence. It was a, a very defensive game. 34 was a pretty low-scoring game, um, especially in an A-grade standard game. You know, you're looking at not even 10 goals a quarter, um, but that, I think that just shows what a tough game it was and, and how defensive it was. So um, I think Westies were very happy with their draw. The high-flying Thevy took on the Sejuna Blues. What did you make of this one, Rihanna? That was a really good win for Thevy. Um, so they ended up going up by 20. Uh, Thevy now two ga- two wins from two games, and um, I think feeling good. They had a really good pre-season, and I think that set them up really well. Uh, Blues are running with quite a large squad. So I think they've got nine or ten in their squad, and I believe all of the girls stepped on the court on the weekend, um, which, of course, can be an advantage because you've got flexibility, but disadvantage at this time of the year because you might not be uh, too settled. So um, I think at halftime, Seve were up by 14, and at that point, Blues had only scored 14. So Seve's defence was on fire. Um, and then at three-quarter time, Seve were only up by 10, um, so Blues did fight back, I believe. Colleen Etridge came on to goalkeeper at half time, which made a bit of difference for Blues. And then uh, the full time score, as I said, was Seve up by 20. Um, Cass uh, here played a brilliant game, just a really good um, person to throw to to get those goals in under that ring. We also had um, Nikki Sleep, was the recipient of the Anzac Day medal. She's uh, the association best and fairest for the last couple of years plays at goal defence and goalkeeper, and I do believe she can play goals, a beautiful player. So Seve, um, onwards and upwards, 20-goal win, they'd be really happy with. I believe Blues um, will take a lot from it. Teresa Woods is their coach, um, very smart netballer. She would have sat back and looked at what worked and what didn't um, and go from there, and Shani Brown was their best. Switching our focus to this weekend's action, Rihanna, we've got the Hawks up against Wirrala. So how do you see this one unfolding? Um, so this is a bit of an old school grudge match from back in the Midwest days. Um, Hawks and Wirral have played each other the last two years in the grand final. Hawks coming out on top the first year and um, Wirral coming away with the win last year. Uh, Wirral have started really strong. They beat Westies by eight um, last time they played them and then had to buy against Kniba. Hawks coming off a loss and a draw. So I think this will be a good game. 
Um, Wirral, I believe, going in with a full side. Hawks still not back at a full side, but we do have Nissa Bell back. Um, so that'll be a, a good in for the Hawks. Um, Hawks this year have got young gun um, Summer Braves through the centre. So um, I think it'll be really exciting to see her development over the season. Um, she's got a lot of potential. Um, and as she grows in confidence, I think uh, we'll see great things from her. Really, you've got Emma Willis and Sophie Keller still in goals. Um, they're a bit of an unbeaten combination, those two. Jazz Billing running through the centre. I think this is going to be a really good game, some really good matchups. Um, I think Wirrella would go in favourites. Uh, I'm the coach of the Hawks girls, so um, I'm not going to tip against them, but I do believe that Wirrella would go in uh, as favourites to win this one. Well, speaking of favourites, it'd be hard to tip against the Tigers in their game against the Blues. How do you see that one going? Yes, I think this will just really come down to um, match-ups and experience. So West is a bit of a new team, um, and I know Jade Norwood and Chloe have got these girls running really well. Um, same with Teresa. She's, I think she's at the moment just trying different combinations. It's a smart thing to do when she's got so much flexibility. Um, she's got people like Taylor Collins. I believe she's been running a bit through the centre. Um, ordinarily, she's been a goalie and also plays defence. Um, Georgia Lambeth, she's a, a brilliant defender. Um, she'll come up against the likes of uh, their goalies, Durrani and Abby Thomas. So um, I think this will be a good game. I think it will come down to match-ups and goalies, whether they're on or off for the day. I believe Westies will go in as favourites, um, but I don't think Blues will give it to them easy. In your experiences, is it a case of uh, when you're coming off a heavy sort of loss that you're really sort of wanting to get back out there and just itching to, uh, you know, come up with a really big performance? Or do you find that the confidence is hard to come by when you've had that sort of shattering defeat? Not shattering, I guess, but, uh, you know, they were beaten fairly soundly, Sejuna, in their last game. Yeah, look, I think being so early in the season... Um, you don't want to be losing confidence at this time. Sometimes coaches are just taking the opportunity to try combinations, um, see how we line up, see how we match up and that sort of thing. So I definitely don't think Blues would be disappointed. I think they would have um, sat back and looked at where the game was broken down um, and where they went wrong. They will train hard this week and um, you know try and work on those things that broke down and put them into practice this week against Westies. So, no, I really don't think that they'll be, um, you know, shattered or anything like that, but I think it will give them a little bit of an extra edge to go out and go, do you know what, um, let's do better than we did last week. But I think Westies also, after having, uh, you know, not a great season last year without a win, having that draw against Hawk um, last week is going to put an extra pep in their step, um, and I reckon they'll come out firing as well. So I actually think it'll be a really good game between both teams. Well, such is the nature of a four-team grade that you're going to get buys fairly frequently. But Thevy, would be pretty annoyed that they've got one at this point in time. Sort of halts their momentum a little, Rihanna, given they're top of the league. Absolutely. So um, they've got Courtney Trowbridge, who's also playing in their team as their coach. I would not be surprised if they did a Saturday morning session. Um, I'm not saying that is what they're doing, but it wouldn't surprise me if they, they did. I know that they're playing uh, Kniba at Kniba's ground, so it's in their hometown, so they have the flexibility to be able to do that, um, and that'll keep their momentum. And um, They've also got a lot, a lot of representation within the association game, which we've got next weekend. So I think Courtney would be looking at maybe doing a Saturday morning or at least a Two, two sessions within the week um, to hold that momentum. I think your yeah, uh, fingers on the money there. There we have it. Well, Rihanna Freeman, it's been great catching up with you. We'll be back with you again next week. Enjoy the action over the weekend, and thanks so much for your time. Not a problem. Thanks very much for having me.